Hello YouTube. This is the third attempt to make this video. Hopefully the everything works properly. Um, we're going to talk about a comparison of a Epiphone versus the Gibson. Okay, I have an Epiphone Les Paul Custom Pro, which is what you're looking at right now. All white, gold hardware. It's been modded though. It's not 100% stock. It's got Seymour Duncan's SH1s. I think they're like part of the 59 series. And um, as you can tell, it's got this binding on the body. It's all one piece, set neck. Um, or, you know, I think it's set neck. I don't think it's neck through, but it's, but the point is, um, it's definitely very, uh, very high end. And the big question is, is this guitar nicer than a Gibson? I think you'll be surprised, but you really got to make up your own mind. But from what I'm, from what I am feeling, um, I'm very surprised at my conclusions. But at the end of the day, it's not always in the name; it's in the quality of the build. So, anyways, I'll play some click, not click, quick clean tones, and uh, here we go. just to kind of color it up a little bit. So that's the clean side of this guitar. Uh, now we're going to hear the Gibson on clean, and then we'll go between the gain sounds. Alrighty, this is the Gibson. Um, as you can see, it's got the name. Um, it's got, you know, not exactly a binding. It's a little different from the Les Paul, but this is it. This is the Gibson. SG faded. Uh, it's a little different paint job. It's not the gloss that you find on the Epiphone. It's red. It's kind of woody and grainy, but it looks really pretty at the same time. Uh, I like it. It's all stock. It's got stock pickups. Uh, nothing on this thing is modded. Um, if anything, we had work done to it. My drummer, he um, lowered the action, raised the pickups, and kind of worked on the frets. There was a bit of fret sprout, so that's already some points taken away from this Gibson. Uh, still love the guitar, still a beautiful machine, and I'm definitely proud to own this. And it didn't really cost me a whole lot, so I got it for a pretty good deal. But still, um, let's see which guitar really holds its water, so to speak. Here we go, clean. <laughs>
a slight short in this pickup or the wiring, so don't let that completely influence your judgment. Uh, me and Chris have been trying to figure out what's going on there. But uh, overall, on uh, even down here in the bridge, and this pickup's working at its full tilt, um, the Les Paul has more output. It's got a po more powerful pickups. Maybe that's not fair because it's modded to the uh, Duncans, but uh, the lower output pickups, though, actually have a little bit more clarity in their sound. So, I mean, it's just kind of a give or take kind of thing. And the higher output you have, sometimes you lose some high end, and the lower output you have, you actually have a little bit more of a spinkier crunch, but not as much pushing your amp. So, I mean, it's just kind of a give or take kind of thing. Although I really do actually like the stock pickups in this. I don't think they need to be changed out. Um, I think they are good for what they are. But here we go. Here's uh, some effects on a clean, and then we'll go to metal. <laughs> Thank you. 
guitar is a little crunchier in terms of like high end, but the other guitar um, so far, um, I mean, I, I won't know until we do the gain, but the other guitar has a slightly bigger sound, but let's hear how they stack up distortion wise. Okay, and the Les Paul, and that'll be it for today. Uh, 
uh, sorry I get lost in the just the jamming of the middle. But uh, my verdict, like I was saying, there's more crunch on the Gibson, but this is a bigger sounding guitar. Part of it is just physically it's a Les Paul. The body's bigger. And that's not a Gibson or an Epiphone trait. That's just, you know, a trait of the guitar is bigger. Which one do I like better? Honestly, I don't want to sway anybody, but I personally like this one better. I still love the Gibson, but this guitar is really probably my favorite out of all my guitars. Um, I do love my Blue SG as well, don't get me wrong, but um, this guitar right here um, is a very nice machine. But that Gibson is nothing to slouch at either. It's a great guitar, and they stack pretty, pretty good against each other, but in this case... I feel the Epiphone wins, but you might feel differently and that's okay. Anyways, thank you.